Okay, these are the Sedona Buck Snort tires. In a minute we're gonna be ripping through this swamp here doesn't really look like it but it's very swampy uh see how they do in the mud uh real quick before we do that i'm gonna do uh get some stones up here and then we'll head over to the boating pile so stay tuned i'll try to make this short and sweet these are the 25 inch stock size tires on this renegade i wanted to because it has the 12 inch wheels i wasn't gonna get new wheels and tires i'm actually kind of glad because they look they look amazing on there they really do i gotta let some air out they're rock hard right now kind of like me <laughs> so uh they're they're a chinesium tire okay i'll let's get that out of the way but uh so let some air out here i had ankylas on here before which was a chinese tire and they were absolutely amazing. The obviously with the the narrow front tires, they always wear out quicker on these. So I replaced them, the front ones, because the back ones were still good. I replaced the front ones with ITP's American tires. And the rubber just completely like dry rotted. It was just and where it stays, it's not in the sun or anything. In the ankles, they never I took this drag race and hill climbing through the rocks. Uh never tore a tire never got a hole in it traction was always good so like i said these are chinese actually the tread is super soft it really is like it's pumped up like a rock right now just because i just put them on the on the wheel itself but you can see how big the lugs are and they leave little deer paw prints everywhere you go but the the tread i mean it's impressive it really is so these are back these are the 25 10 12s and then number 25 812 so this is a stock size tire they fit on here very nice plenty of clearance the front ones i like them because they're a little bit more low profile a little bit more square a little bit wider because and the tread design is a little bit better because on these the front ones are always i'd go through two three tires on the front before i go through a set on the back so i'm going to air down get in the mud and then we'll try it in rocks and then we'll go to the bony pals and try them out there sorry the sun shine right in your eyes there but yeah i mean it's hard to tell on the camera yeah but she dug some serious ruts through there but it easily made it through in two-wheel drive but yeah they're definitely boggers so i'm making a full-length video on these new tires or buck snort tires i just want to show you guys <laughs> this old uh mining building here it should be crazy and i mean this thing been here for Shoo. Man, hundreds of years. Well, that's a good picture right there. That's going to be my uh, thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, I think it's back here, too. Ooh. Ooh. Twist the teeth. Fuck something. Hmm. Fuck a lot of fucks. A cunt. Yep. Hey, here she is. So I was trying to make this video, man, like two weeks ago probably, of these uh, new buck snort tires I got on my Can-Am. So, yeah, I'm just kind of piecing all the little video clips together. As you've seen or will somewhere in the video get up a, on one of these cool pile hills it's a lot bigger than it looks in person but she just trugs right up over there up over the bony pals uh, and i've been spending a crap out of on rocks because we live in a very rocky area 
and there is no tears or scratches or anything. And yeah, I mean, not a single rip. I was kind of afraid of that being a Chinese tire that it might tear on the rocks, but we got some pretty wicked rocks around here, and yeah, they're all holding up just fine. A lot of jaggers, too. Uh, obviously, they do good in the mud. As a video clip here, somewhere along the video. I mean, they really, these lugs are deep. And they really bite down in, for sure. These are pretty cool. Because uh, I'll put some pictures in here. You can't really see right here. You know, we have little deer tracks everywhere you go. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, traction, top notch. Uh, you ride a little rough, maybe, but you're on a quad on the rock, so. Uh, I noticed I took it 80 mile an hour on a highway. It was not good. <laughs> not good at all. I know my bushings are bad up front, but jeez. <laughs> Man, I got scared. I was like, fuck this. It was, yeah, 70 something. Almost 80 mile an hour. I was like, oh. So, not for highway use. When they say not for highway, not for highway. Which we got a lot of land around here, so we don't really need much of that. And so that's about it. Man, I wonder if that's cool. It kind of looks like it, huh? Looks a lot like it, actually. So I don't remember going through too much water. Hmm. Well, we'll head back. Maybe I'll go up like a rocky hill or something. So we can show you how good it works in the rocks. Hopefully. <laughs> 